Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a spicy one for you. We are playing a deck that came 26th in one of our last week's challenges from Diego himself. This one is pretty mental, so let's dive right in. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have another pop of video for you, and this one is pretty spicy. We are playing, I'm calling it like Kilnimator. I haven't really got a name for it to be honest. But effectively, it's Kiln Fiend and Festival Crasher deck that's red-black. So it can run Tainted Strike, which is like a team of battle rage. It gives it an uh, infect, which is pretty good. But then it's also got Troll of Kazadoom and four Exhumes in as well. Because, well, why not? Because you could also just pump this up with either Team of Battle Rage or Mutagenic Growth and then, or Ancestral Anger and then Tainted Strike it too. So... This one's pretty spicy, if I do say so myself. It's obviously not... This is a deck from uh, Tiago Fugueta. He's a content creator from Brazil and has... Came 26th in the challenge, which isn't great, but isn't. it's still interesting enough to get on the board. Um, <clears throat> so I have a feeling that this deck's going to be a bit conflicted, but we're not here for that. We're here for the fun. So there's two Lotus Petals in the deck, four Simeon Spirit Guides... <clears throat> Four Ancestral Angers, four Lava Darts, four Mutagenic Growths, four uh, Mana Morphos, two Team Battle Rage, and there's two Highway Robberies for draw, two Apostles Blessing, and then you've got your four four Trolls, your four Simeon Spirit Guides, your four Festival Crash, and your four Kiln Fiends, along with three Tainted Strike, and then you've got 14 lands, putting us at 61 cards. I don't know why the 61 card special when you're running 14 lands personally, but I'm not changing it. I haven't got the big brain for this. So, I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Obviously, with the Exhum troll package, but then also like the Kiln Fiend sort of stuff as well with Tainted Strike. I'm pretty interested to see that. Then we've got two Apostles Blessing in the board, I'm assuming, for any heavy removal deck to protect your Festival Crash and your Kiln Fiend. Two Flaring Pains for any Fog decks or Prismatic Strand decks. Red Air Mega Blast for the blue decks. Two Raise the Effigies to destroy anything from Relic or Affinity. Um, and then it's also a pump spell. <laughs> there are two electric rays to deal with X1s like Cold Author. And then three snuff outs probably for brood scale is how I'm uh, I imagine. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> that is the exciting deck. I am excited to dive right into these games and see how we get on. See you guys for round one. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number one. We are against the Paz. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. Seems pretty good to me. <clears throat> uh, three... Instant sort of 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can deal 13 as early as turn 2. If we draw a team of Battle Rage or a Tainted Strike, we can kill them. Uh, I'm assuming they're on walls, so we're basically just racing here. <coughs> um, so <coughs> we are going to Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. And play a kill feed. And then pass the turn. <coughs> a Paz says he might concede fast because he's currently in a Met League. Which I think is totally fine. <laughs> oh no, please. No. Well, makes for an interesting video, I guess. Honest. See you guys for round two. Hey guys, welcome back for uh, round number two. We are so close. If this had one land, we'd uh, snap keep this. But no lands, obviously. Easy Mulligano. Um, so here we've got two lands and Exhum, but no Troll or anything. No Kiln Fiend either. I feel like I'm supposed to just Mulligan this as well. I could keep this and stare into the Abyss until I draw a threat. Either a Kiln Fiend or an Exhum, but... A, a Kiln Fiend or a Troll, but I just don't think this is going to cut it. Uh, I think this is fine. So we probably don't want this and this, I'm guessing. Since we've got no black swords, you don't want to keep the tainted strike, right? <clears throat> and they're on gates, so they're on Boros gates, so they'll have a lot of removal too. Great. Just what we need. <clears throat> this is where, like, the mutagenic growths would come in. Sacred catcher. Like, mutagenic growths, great here against... Deal with this. Right. So I'm not going to play this out. <clears throat> um, because I want to hold up protection <clears throat> against Bolt. Grail is fine. 
they got a 23 here. <clears throat> and they have a prismatic strands. Why are they thinking about attacking? Not attacking. Fine. Two, four, six, seven. I guess I'm supposed supposed to play Kiln Fiend here. <clears throat> As it's um it does more damage. It's more likely to kill them, even though they have a strands here. Fair play, sure. It's got rally rally. <clears throat> On twenty three. They're not attacking. Simeon Spirit Guide, huh? So I'm just gonna attack here. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do anything fancy. I'm just gonna play the Festival Crusher out. Festival Crusher! You block. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna lightning bolt my guy. <clears throat> prepare two and do a and a pro red. Pro red. And then we'll play the Festival Crusher out here. So we've got another threat. So they have to answer them both. And then I'm going to play the white creature, the sacred card from the bin, I'm assuming. I'm surprised the block too. Got three cards in hand, but a strand in the bin. Two, three, four. Battle Screech. Yeah. <clears throat> the problem is we have to have enough sort of stuff to uh, deal with this prismatic strand, make them go for the strands. And then have enough to go off the next turn to go for strands again. Lava that, huh? <clears throat> that also works, right? If I could just shoot this, shoot this. If I shoot this, shoot this, and then um, force the strands. Shoot this. Three, six, nine. <clears throat> um, I maybe should have just attacked, you know? <laughs> I think I'm fine just attacking here as well. Four, seven, they can get up to five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. <clears throat> yeah, I think I just let them take seven here and try and use Lava Dart to uh, get rid of a blocker here. Pretty awkward. I maybe should have sacked it to just use the strands, but I'm not 100% certain that was correct. If I sacked them out and made them just got two snackers, okay. Uh, if I sack the mountain, made them strands there. Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably this is probably that was probably the <clears throat> the best angle here because I, I still haven't I haven't got rid of the strands. Draw a card. Another mountain's obviously not great, <clears throat> but we will attack. Hmm. And they can look at rallying here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's. 5, 10, 15, 20. yeah, I think we're just dead. I think I played this wrong. I think I needed to, <clears throat> I think I needed to uh, sack the Lava Dart on the untap one to force the Prismatic Strands and then try and go for it next turn with the Ancestral Anger and the Team of Battle Rage. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot closer than I expected though. <clears throat> and I guess if they don't, if they go for this, it's all about if they do go for this. The fact that they're attacking makes me think they are going to go for this. Even just the ones lethal. <clears throat> yeah, it was really awkward with the prismatic strands there. I think do we want like trickery, or flare and pain. We probably want the protection side of things. Um, <clears throat> and it's just what to cut. Do we think it's just the exhum side of things? Probably not, right? It's quite a lot of cards to cut too. Probably the Tainted Strikes, because if you're going to play one, the Team of Battle Rage actually gives Double Strike, which is much more relevant in combat, I guess. That's one card I'd cut. <clears throat> and then it might just be the Exhumes. I feel like you can't can't cut that package, though, right? And I think that's the problem. Like, you probably cut it against, like, Affinity. Maybe we don't need... Hmm. I think Exhumes seems like the cleanest answer. <clears throat> But I guess they also can't beat Troll. If we just exhume a Troll, they just can't win, right? It's a lot harder. They have to double bolt and all that sort of stuff. Maybe I don't need four Blessings. I don't need four Darts. And then maybe Highway Robbery. And we try and go as fast. Oh, there's 61 in there. Oops. I was forgetting. Like, I'm trying to sideboard a 61, not sideboard a 60. <clears throat> I guess I'll probably just cut both Highway Robberies and put the uh, Apostles Blessing back. Seems fine, right? Let's go! 
I think we can keep this. I could just go double tap land. I think petal sack for the tap land is pretty good. <clears throat> like we haven't got an exhum, but this lets us have quite a lot of redraws and access to. It gives us quite a lot of redraws in the angers, but also we've got mana morphos too. Plus, also it gives us our mana base pretty nicely. <clears throat> Let's -a go. Gotta play a bog again. <clears throat> Uh, no point in obviously getting a swamp there when I'm not playing anything. I'll probably just leave the mana morphos too. I don't think I need the random redraw. I'd rather just save it for if I find like a kiln fiend or something. <coughs> Basilisk gate, sacred cat lunar veteran. Okay. Exhum. You may bring one back. I'll have a troll. I will have an unblockable troll. I've uh, obviously got a high number of spells too for. <coughs> If we do draw a kill paint here, Faithless, Luden, oh. Snacker, Veteran, okay. I don't know why you're not attacking, but alright. Uh, That works. Six! Six! Bosh! Excuse me, sir. I have another troll for you. Knock, knock, knock. Excuse me, sir. And I was thinking of cutting this. I also don't have a third land. <clears throat> oh no, your snacker is back. I guess they could try and... I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I can't block. Ramosian Rally Battle Screech. Sure. Good thing. Oh, you got another land, huh? So they're on what, 15? <clears throat> so 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I just put this on here. I guess either's the same, right? Seven. Because I can't block regardless. <clears throat> that is exaxes. Bush, bush, bush. Get trolled. Yeah. That was too funny. Too funny. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to just rock it as is. I can't believe we got the exhum off. Look at that. Ugh. Go on, son. Get him. Get him, you troll. Uh, yes. Uh, this is fine. So we have a choice. <clears throat> They're mulligan into five. <laughs> okay. You got us. Uh, and it's now what do we... Which This is a, a crucial point. Which angle do we want to take? Because it matters how we sequence our players, right? Because we don't want to get the swamp if possible. We'd rather get the, the red black land because it helps with lava dart. So <clears throat> if that's the case, we want to... Simeon spirit guy get the land right or do we just get the swamp i think i just play mountain get the swamp right yeah i think that's probably it's more surprise factor and we do get to keep this for a later date <clears throat> like so we have access to an extra mana and then you're gonna play a white one drop no okay surprise <clears throat> swamp, <laughs> swamp. Hiya. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is anybody else having fun? Because I am. This is hilarious. <laughs> <clears throat> you can play scrap work mode all you want. You can discard your sneaky snacker. Well done. You did your thing. You did it! Another exhum. That's so not what I wanted. Oh well. Six. I'm just going to play two kill things here. <laughs> uh, this. Exile. This. Your turn. Two exhumes is pretty... Having all three exhumes in the top ten is pretty uh, pretty bad. If I'm honest. But we can work around this. We can do it. Um, yeah. Sneaky Snacker Prismatic Strands. Okay. You're going to play a white creature. Faithless Luton, huh? And bam, your buddy cat. Bow. And another one, huh? <clears throat> Attack for two. You don't want a block. A swamp, huh? Uh, that's right. Block, block. So the prismatic strands in the bin, but no cards in hand. So if I team a battle rage, this, say. 
This gets plus three per sword. This becomes four. So this gets trample as eight. So that tramples on for three, seven. So seven and six is basically one off lethal. But it forces them to prismatic strands and they have a they can't stop both sets of damage. So I think I'm gonna do this. This might be weirdly incorrect, but <clears throat> this forces to diversify the damage for this strands here. Yes. Prevent all damage from red sources, which is basically the same, right? It's only one less damage. I guess they gain two now that they don't die. But the strands is gone. Yep. <clears throat> Go. But they've just got a. They're now just on two Faithless Lutons and random cards. And we're just still going to go swing, 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 and hope for the best. Uh, yes. Good job. I have two more exhumes. No attacks, huh? Let's do this. Obviously, pre con. They bring back a snacker. But we do get a 6 5. They exchange these now trade. They trade extra crispy. Yes. Yes. Uh. Do I just exhume this? <clears throat> they get either a snacker or a scrap like what? Hmm. Unsure. I think I'm supposed to exhume a kiln fiend here. <clears throat> if we get an anger, it's just so much better, right? Like anger and this, giving it trample, all that sort of good stuff. Redraws. They do bring back this. But they don't have the effect because they don't have any cards in hand. They've got no cards to discard. So this is literally just a 2 1 we don't have. The only thing I was concerned about is they could actually start flying. So if the top deck to Basilisk Gate, um, they could start getting in the aggressive with the Sneaky Snackers. <clears throat> Flashback Luton. I just need to avoid a Strands, right? It's kind of what I'm looking at avoiding. A Rally. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> Swing. Let's try and clear the board a bit. Block. I'm assuming they're going to go block with... Yeah, I was going to say they're going to block with Snackers. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so they're on 12. And their board is a lot emptier. Which is good because they actually could have killed us next turn. But if they actually didn't block, we were dead, right? Uh, Rafine's informant, sure. It's kind of plain. So they've still got a 2-1. And then they're going to play Sneaky Snagger here. Uh, not Sneaky. Standard Bearer. Okay. I think a lot of our stuff actually says tag creature you control, but apart from uh, anger. Oh, come on, dick. So, we can force trades <clears throat> with everything. Right, so one of the two ones blocks the Kiln Fiend, and then the other two block this. Am I okay with that? And then start attacking here with a Simeon Spirit Guide. <clears throat> two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Yes. This is fine. This is actually better for us. Right. I'm going to leave this geothermal log in hand. <clears throat> I don't think there's anywhere I would ever need five lands. So I might as well keep it in hand for a mystery card. They do have a faithless loot in here to bring back the three snackers. Oh dear. On earth, sure. I kind of would like a lava dart. What did they discard? Oh, the God, come on. You're going to attack for two. Not staying around, you might as well attack. Well done. <clears throat> okay. And they have a sacred kind of bin. You got it. Oh, come on, deck. There's 14 lands in the thing. <clears throat> two. Very draw dependent deck, obviously. Uh, you've got two highway robberies, which are currently in the board, and then you've got the redraws of anger and. Mana Morphos, but then after that you're pretty much hard relying on just your natural draw. Thank for one. I'm assuming you're not blocking. Cool. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's attack. <laughs> Is this what it's come down to? Just here's my troll. Uh yeah, sure. Hi! Hello! I have a troll for you. <clears throat> oh dear. So we have lethal. Weirdly enough, I twined about the lands, but they actually mattered. I had cast a troll. Uh, three for a faithless to bring back the three snackers. Okay. 
So we have lethal, but they have to attack with the sig cap for it not to be lethal. They have a basilisk gate. So if we can find a lava dart or an electricery, they're dead. Boom. Anger. Anger doesn't really work because you have to target this, right? I still think we target it. It trades with this, but I think we're okay with that. Because we get the redraw. <laughs> Again, because if we draw a, a lava dart, like they can't currently kill this or block with this. They don't care too much. So I think I'm fine just redrawing to see if I draw a lava dart or an anger. Come on. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's 18, but this is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. With two attacks. <clears throat> so I can't attack, right? Cool. So basically, I need to be able to block both of these, is what I'm trying to, trying to get at. Basilisk Gate Plus. So you have a. So the Basilisk Gate, the Lifelinker. Put that to five. Swing with the life linker. So I don't want to trade this. <clears throat> and also I don't really want it. Uh four, eight, twelve. It gives us another turn, right? If I block with this Simming Spirit Guide. I need to find one of my four. Four lava darts. Three lava darts. And if I one of my three lava darts or elect two electricaries. Go. That's a festival crusher. Right. <clears throat> Let's go. So I need them not to have a land. Not to have an untapped land, that is. Because then they can rally the peasants plus Basilisk Gate. And then... What do I need to do exactly? I'd still need to find my Electricary or Lava Dart, right? <clears throat> is where we're at just to clear this. And then, obviously, this just gets big. Fiends informant sure this could be awkward because it could be a way for them to put a strands in the bin. They're nearly halfway through the deck, they're pretty close to finding another strands here. Come on, we were so close, and then they're gonna be able to gate this up. They get a flyer up, okay. And do anything about that six ten. Okay, <clears throat> come on. Cooked by the standard bearer, but they're not found it either. Two, four. Hmm. Yes. That guy's gone unless they're going to strands here. <clears throat> they're not. And basically I did that because I had to get rid of the flyers. And the only profitable trade for them was the flyers. <clears throat> because if they had two, um if they had if they block with one flyer. Then the the basic needed another gate to win. <clears throat> yes, they're back. So I think can I? Oh no, I can't. Not with this standard bearer. And gates on the life linker, huh? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think there's a way out of this, especially with the strands. I'm left. I'm on. Oh, I'm on the top twelve. What's that? 22 cards, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, over halfway my lands already, come on, I'm just dead now, that's so unfortunate, <clears throat> yeah obviously I think in hindsight cutting this la one lava dart is obviously incorrect, but we were very much not av trying to avoid the long game, Uh, yeah, see you guys for the next round. <clears throat> Hey guys, welcome back here to round number three. Uh, we're against Tart, which is always a great one. Um, and I think this hand's a keep. Let me keep this hand. No issues there. Um, we have basically Troll to get... <clears throat> uh, troll obviously gets us our black sauce. Uh, we do need... Hello? We do need, like, Kiln Fiend as such, or... Exhume here, but and they seem to be on I would assume affinity, but I could be wrong. Affinity is pretty awkward though, because oh, they're not there. The <clears throat> Jess Guy deck, uh, Jess Guy energy. There is a kill. Let's go. Oh, yeah, hi, 
So we have two forms of protection here. Uh, the Apostle's Blessing and the Mutagenic Growth. <laughs> but also, 360, yeah, so we also have Iron Cycle Sure. We also have Lethal after that too. Like these three cards here are just lethal. <clears throat> so there is that. Hi, I have a Kiln Fiend. <clears throat> Lightning Bolt. Uh, no, I don't like that. Blue, or Dispel. I'm just going to play the Man of for Red Red. <clears throat> red, Red, Anger, Anger, Painted Strike. <clears throat> Push! We were one spell off as well if we drew if we drew two lands. Um <laughs> if we drew two uh instead of two lands we drew uh instead of two lands if we drew an actual something it didn't matter that that the uh tainted pack was a uh, the tainted strike was a tainted strike. Um I think I don't know do we want red elemental blasts here? I don't think Lava Dart's gonna cut it right. So do we just bring in two red elemental blasts? I feel like the games are probably gonna go a lot longer. Um Apostle's Blessing deals with the red side and also the blue side in terms of the counter spells and stuff. Gen well. The blues like the hydros. <clears throat> and I think I am supposed to just bring all four in, right? And if that's the case, what do I cut? An exhum? No. Maybe I'm not supposed to bring in all four of these. <sighs> Maybe I'm supposed to just cut a exhum. We'll try that. I feel like that's probably wrong, but I'm not 100% certain. We're in a similar position. I think we uh, keep this hand. We do need, obviously, a Kiln Fiend effect. We have a redraw. We have double protection. But also, if we do draw a... Uh, um, if we do draw a uh, exhum, we're sort of in the same position too. They have more untapped lands this time. Yes. Imagine if we just draw an exhum here. Wouldn't that be great? <clears throat> Wap. Yeah, it's right. Well, it was a black card, I guess. So, this basically. Hmm. So, basically, here we are trying to just. No, all go into hydro. Blech. Blech. So, I'm going to. Take the opportunity here to red, black, black. I'm going to go again. Because I really do want to find a Kiln Fiend aura. Hmm. Two, three, four. <clears throat> do I just... I probably just cycle troll, right? I could anger. I could anger here. I'm not against this, actually. And then just troll. If we didn't find anything, we could just troll here, so... <clears throat> One, two, three... If we do draw another troll, we can cast it here. Which is fine. <clears throat> but... Lorien. So they've got six cards, got seven. Being the beachfront. Play the beachfront, and now it's six cards, one's a hydro. I think we might have given too much time. Red Elemental Blast, huh? Well, let's do... Let's do the thing. Hi. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <clears throat> and that is play a Simon Spirit Guide. Two, four. Well, if I sure. We could actually. <clears throat> we're not far off actually just tainted striking them with a Simeon Spirit Guide, right? So this is plus two. And then that's plus one, so we're halfway there. So like an, a team of Battle Rage would do it. A land. <clears throat> Do I just play this other Simeon Spirit Guide out? Hello? Why is he not letting me? Oh, I'm in my end step, you absolute spanner. You absolute spanner. I have a Simeon Spirit Guide in my hand. I clicked one too many times. All is good. Uh, their end step's fine. Kill thing, huh? So we have. I'm going to play this out. <clears throat> because it gives us Kill thing, double reb. Protection spell. I interesting that they let it resolve. So about six cards, one's a hydro. So I probably end a turn trying to hydro this. Then a galvanic discharge it, huh? Um, I'm gonna go with the protection. Whap. 
<clears throat> They're dispelling that. So then let's cast Counter Tiger Blue spell. Boop. And then they have a Hydro here. And the Hydro is countering the Reb, huh? So let's Counter Tiger Blue spell. Boop. The only thing I hope doesn't happen here is that they. Yeah, I was going to say they don't Reb this. You've got two cards in hand. <clears throat> All that resolves. Your Galvanic Discharge happens. And you probably just bank three energy. <laughs> okay, Mansa, bring back Galvanic Discharge or Hydroblast. Probably Hydroblast. And then they can just Hydroblast the Kiln Fiend. I'm assuming they do it now. Interesting. So they've got Hydroblast on one unknown. Oh, come on. <clears throat> if the last card wasn't Ephemerate, I probably could have fought through that. Like, drawing Exhum there is pretty good, but can't fight through that i don't think um i do feel like i want the fourth exam though i want that sort of thing and i think a team of battle rage is probably the cut i think probably two team of battle rages actually and just bring in the other protection spell i think i prefer that idea let's go the what the two swamps pretty unfortunate here so we'll just mulligan keep put back a troll Go! Um, <clears throat> no! By the way, just for reference, the reason why my, my line there was correct is that deck, as in Jeskai Energy, has so few untapped red sources on one. I think they run like two mountains, and they are the only untapped red source. So the chance of them having Mountain Bolt is slim, and then we could literally draw the win here. So, that was pretty unlucky on our part. And I don't, obviously, and now we've just got a bunch of nothing in hand. Yeah, I feel like that that's just super variance here. Like, the chances of them having the mountain is slim. I think, I, I, I don't even think they run two. It might actually just be one. Because they are a very blue heavy deck. There's no point in banking this either. So, that's pretty unlucky. Yeah, they're not in a position where they're worried that they need to get the discharge. <clears throat> I could have redrew there, actually. That might have been worthwhile. Wildfire, sure. <clears throat> White sauce? Or just another island? Okay. They've probably got a lot of hit here. I probably need... Yep. Yeah, I need an exhum here, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. We'll take the redraw. Ugh. I don't want to take another redraw. Like, no, I think I just want to cycle this. I'd rather save this, right? Because one, two, three, four, five. So I can, I'm almost at the point where I can hard cast a troll. Not that it matters that much, but. And then also, <clears throat> anger plus tainted strike is actually probably pretty game winning. Four. I'm playing another one. Yep. And they've got seven cards in hand. I think this is over. Like, obviously, having a deck where you're, like, blown out here by a, a Galvanic Discharge, I just think it's so correct there. Like, they've got two mountains. <sighs> they've also nearly ripped all the lands out of the deck. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually don't think they have any more basics. So they have a counter spell here, we die. So if that's the case, do we anger? I'm not anger here. Try and find a reb. Me too. And then if they do have a counter spell, I'll reb. <clears throat> I'll reb. I'll manamorphose trying to find a reb. <clears throat> Wait. Oh. They must have an answer for this. Surely. Like, they wouldn't let this resolve. So, mutagenic growth's not lethal. Anger's lethal. Preordained double top. Augur, sure. So now we're three creatures. We've got a Galvanic Discharge. So Galvanic Discharge plus six unknowns. Jesus. Five unknowns. So Hydroblast is most likely one of them. I'm assuming they're not attacking. Film thing. I think I'm supposed to... I think I'm supposed to Manamorphose here. Or Red Red. <clears throat> So I go second troll here. 
you have a counter spell for the second exhum? You do not. I'll play that. Uh, so if I attack here, hmm, hang up. Hmm, I don't know what's best here. Like, do I play the kill? I should have done red black on the mana morphos. It would have been much more mana efficient. Um, <coughs> so I attack here. They triple block. They probably ephemerate one of them. So I probably don't attack and just play kill thing. So they might hydro this, which is fine, I think. They don't. Okay. The awkward thing is it taps us out. Yeah. I'm not going to try and fight over this, I don't think. There's the galvanic discharge gone. <coughs> Ephemerate. Okay. So I need a way to give trample. The awkward thing is now this banks Galvanic Discharge kills a troll. And they have a dispel. Yep. And the ephemerate comes back and kills the well, it doesn't kill this, right? It's close to killing this though. <clears throat> Three cards in hand. With an ephemerate coming back. Uh six. They bring back the ephemerate here. They then ephemerate something. Five mana here. Lorien reveal. Oh shit. Spirit ends fine. But this is our window. I guess. <sighs> no. Deck, come on. Deck, no. So I can hit them for seven infect. Is the best I can do. And then I die here, right? <clears throat> I don't die, die. I just lose control of this game completely. The ephemerate, bring back a galvanic discharge here if they wanted to. And then I can just bank a galvanic discharge and then ephemerate galvanic discharges. Yeah. Which is, I'm assuming, what they're going to do. Or they can just bring back a second galvanic discharge and go 3-3 three, three, or 3-2. Three, yeah. They could also have a second one already. A third one already, sorry. Yeah, all four preordains, and they top bottom three mana or five. Is this another Lorien or Mold Drifter? Okay, all their threats are currently blue, so we can Apostles Blessing to try and protect our way through. Not that I, I would look forward to that, like, but um, I likely will troll for a swamp, right? I really no, the chances of drawing another land are pretty slim with. Got what 10 lands left in the deck? Discarding a card. A land, okay. Kill fiend, huh? <sighs> double using double anger there for redraw was not great. <clears throat> like it was great in the sense that it got us to where we could exhume something, but yes. I think we're just dead here. They've now got a Galvanic Discharge as well, so they can triple block here. And they're just gonna quad block. Uh, two, four, let's do it that way. <clears throat> and then they can just, oh, they should let it go. Oh, must have a later dinner. Or I guess they could have a jolly to work. Oh, but I've got no threats, so I'm also not surprised. <clears throat> and now I need to keep this troll in hand as I try to find a way to, uh, uh Yes. I will get a mountain. If you plan on wildfire on my swamps, I'm I'm pretty good. But okay. Two, three, four, five. You know, wildfire me again. Okay. Uh I'll get a swamp. Two, three, four. <clears throat> the the they might as well do that as well, because I'm assuming they're fully out. Got a land there was pretty bad, but I think we should be probably pretty dead soon. Um, <clears throat> if we draw another land, we can cast this and hopefully they don't have a counter spell, even though they've got 20 cards left in the deck. Uh, other than that, I think, I think going down the normal route is probably less likely to happen. Well, we got a land. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We actually only have four, right? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have six lands left in our deck. Six lands left in our entire deck. Mutagenic growth pretty bad here. Uh, we have one, two, three. So we've got one Kiln Fiend and three Festival Crashers. Five mana. This is another Lorien. Okay. That's another bait stick. Um, yes. 
I don't think... One, two, three. So we've got one troll left as well. I don't think we can sort of... I just don't think we're winning this game, in all honesty. They've got... I know it sounds silly, but they've got... Well, so it would be 12 cards here, I'm assuming. Yeah. 10 cards, 12 cards. <clears throat> but we've got double hydro to fight through if we do find anything. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just dead. See you guys for the next round. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number four. We are currently uh, one and two. Been pretty close games, to be honest. Uh, this hand's a keep. We've got turn one, Kiln Fiend into, well, these two, I guess. Sort of start the race off. We're on the play as well, so the chances of them having some form of interaction is pretty slim. And here we go. Lotus Petal. Boom. And away we go. To the races. Let's see what they're on. Island. Island. Boo. We have a swamp here. Right. Bonk. A spell pierce this. Hmm. I think I just... I think I'm going to mute a genic grove. They're likely on a spell pieces. Yeah, that's fine. But we still get the plus three, so I'm not too fussed. So the, I was going to say they're likely on, um, God, Mono Blue Terror. So hopefully they got Island and then look at, like, Boomerang in this. And then we just Apostles Blessing. They do not. Hmm. So we can go Lava Dart. Three, four, five. Sack the Mountain. Three, six, seven, eight nine it's weirdly lethal if they try and boomerang it right so i guess we attack do we attack then lava dart or do we just play? i think we lava dart right as opposed to playing festival crusher bonk <clears throat> and then if they try and boomerang here we get to apostles bless and actually kill them i mean if they don't have boomerang it's pretty bad yeah just go after it you're on seven have your thoughts, Galfun. Island. That's going to be blue red. Aqua. Oh, no. The blue black is so much worse. It's so much worse because they have access to snuff out now. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't have lava died if that's the case. Bonk. I'm going to pass here. I need another land to sort of look at committing another threat while holding up Apostle's Blessing. I wonder if the fear. Uh, that there could be. It could be fair. Oh dear. There's another land. Attack for one. So here we have Apostles Blessing Team of Battle Rage Lava Dad. So it all depends on what they do. Oh. But five. It's very much a game of who blinks first. <laughs> oh. Let's play a second threat. And go from there. Hopefully th I'm assuming this oh. Okay, I was going to say, I'm assuming this is going to get counted, but probably not, clearly. And six cards, two mana. I don't know what they're on, that, that's, like, they're on blue-black, like, I understand that bit. Four mana here, five mana. No, I, I don't even think my opponent knows what they want to cast by the looks of this. Had cast a Talarian Terror. So they have access to Snuff Out here. And that's sort of it. Okay. And we can... So we'll play Petal. Just for that extra mana -y goodness. So they need... They can only play one snuff out too. Pretty bad position for them to be in. Uh, let's tap this for mana. Shoot them for one. And that's lethal. Right there. Because I can't even snuff this out either. Uh, I don't understand what the play was. Okay. Mind you there, but they are blue black terror. So snuff out scary, so we need Apostles Blessing for that. And then Red Elemental Blast. So Mutagenic's not that good. Um Snuff Out could be okay, but I don't I don't think it's that good. I like the Exhum side of things. We'll cut a lava dart. Maybe we just cut double lava dart and go from there. So hmm. I think we we do keep this. If the lead on Aquifer. Lynn Snow Covered Island, huh? So I guess we'll play Petal. See if they counter it. I don't. So I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine going. Something here. This could be wrong. 
Because they could just aqua the play aqua for this turn and then uh snuff this and a brainstorm and then a lorry reveal. Okay. Yep, exactly as expected. So let's swamp cycle. <clears throat> swamp. And let's cheer time a bog. Might as well get that black red source out. And away they're off. So we can exhume, bring back kill, uh, bring back the troll here. It's obviously if the, if we think they've got, I think they've got to have double counter. So let's go, let's go. Counter spell. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Um. So here again, we're just go, gonna probably go exhum, brainstorm. So they still they didn't hit a creature, which is good. They're holding up two mana. Exhum again. Ah, oh, where? Not only have they got mismatch counter spells, they had the second one. <clears throat> second counter spell in uh, the top 15 is what it is. And unfortunately, we've got to play this with no hydro protection. Hydro. Stuck on mana. Um, maybe it wasn't correct to go for the Milder Terror 2. Not that I really matters. We use two exhumes. Um, yes. <clears throat> uh, this is okay they're doing nothing by the looks of this no threats huh we'll play land and we'll plot this plot you may brainstorm brainstorm against five what is with that mismatch stuff what is this mental not sure milling an aquifer and an island sure <clears throat> another blessing huh um is it discard a card or sack a land, right? What do I want to discard? Probably a Tainted Strike, right? No, probably the Team of Battle Rage. Other plus side, we don't get it chosen unless it's resolved. I guess, every cloud. Uh, so let's discard. Discard Team of Battle Rage. Just because it costs two mana, is my thought. Doesn't matter, we drew a land anyway. Look at us go. And then I'm going to... Cast a Simeon Spirit Guy. Gam, what you gonna do now, bruh? What are you gonna do now? Uh, the only awkward thing is, if they do find a threat next turn, we only have one mana roll up. So they can go... So they can literally just go Reb, uh, Hydro, and then I can't Hydro again, or Reb again, sorry. Did they find a threat? They did not. Let's go, Simeon Spirit Guide. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He's on the attack. Let's go. Bonk. Push. I'm going to hit you 4 2 until you die. I guess I should have got rid. Mm. Four mana, end of turn. I'd cast a snuff out. I mean, no. I'm going to protect this. You can. Black. Carry on. Carry on with your day, good sir. Careful study, huh? Cool. Oh, that usually implies snacker, to be fair. Having careful study in the deck, but... Extract a confession on my Simeon Spirit Guide. How rude. Go. Four cards in hand, huh? Go faint! Let's go! Woo! Uh... No. Leave my kill fiend alone! Alright, so we've only got... Bonds. Go away. Get lost with your snuff outs. Oh, come on. Now I really do wish I kept the uh, Team of Battle Rage. They're on six. Jesus. Terra. Mental Lord. Milling Beb. Spell Pierce. Okay. Go there. Go. Another threat. Okay. If it's not another threat, at least it's a Red Elemental Blast, I guess. Um. <clears throat> We've got three trolls left in the deck. Five for a Lorien revealed. Absolutely not. Counter Tiger Blue spell. Goodbye. Get out of my game. Yeah, that's right. You've got one card, none. Come on. Three, four, five. Something good. Mana Morphos, huh? I think we do this for red, black. They're only on one mana, so. Red, black. Anger, which I can't cast. Okie dokie. <clears throat> any threat. Any threat whatsoever is good for me. Oh, come on. This dude, man. 
double stuff out and he's sat here with oh my god look at all my cards in hand like still got a counter spell are you joking come on deck so i'm gonna anger this i'm gonna pay the two pay three to draw one card let's go oh -ho! we have a threat we have a threat let's go Unfortunately, uh, Tainted Strike doesn't work because it does three infect and not three normal. No! Literally just went from rip rip. Are you joking? Let's go! We've got this! Runner runner! Runner runner! Boom! Apostle's Blessing! Aww. Okay. No, I'm not complaining because. I'm not complaining because the Apostle's Blessing is actually. Unblockable almost. Yep. Five, ten, eleven. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Exhum, huh? So they have a terror somewhere, right? So they would gain a terror and I would gain a six five. Hmm. But what I can do is do this for a kiln fiend, right? So I can do exhum for a kiln fiend, block one with a simian spirit guide, give this infect, so then it doesn't deal me normal damage, and then take two, put me to four, and then, but then I'm still left with seven, right? I've still got another terror here, right? I guess also it works the same with, yeah, I think it works the same with a troll, right? If I exhum, give this infect, Block here. They then have to attack. With them. I think that's probably the best player. Troll. And then if they attack with all, I can just put this in front of here. Yeah. That's the best player here. And then hope they don't draw an interaction spell. <clears throat> this basically allows them to overcommit and then us kill them on the backswing. Right? You swing it all out? You are. So let's put this on here. Got a four. Protection from blue. Block this. Block this. Okay. Give us infect. Don't have a counter spell. <clears throat> Let's go. Come on. Don't have an extractor confession. Draw two, discard two. That does nothing, right? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Tainted pot uh, strike for the win. Yeah! Let's go! Big brains! See you guys for the next round, the fifth and final one. Hey guys, welcome back here for the fifth and final round after that mega round four. Um, Mulligan and Orlander, Mulligan of Fallander. Here we've got a Festival Crusher. Uh, do we go big? Basically. So Festival Crasher, Redraw, that's three, or five. So I guess we just do this and hope to draw something good. I think, I think that's probably better. Oh, Man's White Weenie. Looks like we're against White Weenie it is. Very few decks would lead on Plains Go. Eagle of the North. Oh, is it Fams? It's Fams. Okie dokie. They have Snap. Which is pretty scary. Festival Crasher. They're already hard removal, but they have got Snap, which is obviously pretty scary. Evoke a Mold Drifter with an Ephemerate here. I'm messing. Yep. <clears throat> Two. Four. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Eighteen. So I do this for Red Red. So I do a Red Red. I guess I do red, black, because that leads me to draw a tainted strike, right? Hmm, <laughs> punished. <laughs> it's all right. We drew the one of swamp. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that would have been lethal as well. So that it was basically a tie up between drawing. So annoying. Let's just play this land and then. Pass and then attack. <clears throat> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's so annoying. Literally had that there as well. 
But basically, it basically gives us more outs. The, the chances of drawing this swamp are slim. We have 14 lands. We've seen the one, one of the swamps. We have a second one. Like, the chances of the second one are pretty low. Um, and it had to be basically ang anger, right? Anger and a swamp. Like, otherwise, it doesn't matter. Like, if, the, if you draw a land, the chances of drawing a land is either this and this. They're the two bad lands that you don't want to hit. Like, a second one of these in a swamp. But after that, it doesn't actually matter. Yep. Yep. And then they get to bring back the snap. Well, they get to bring back the ephemera and then snap. Yep. Exhume, huh? Yeah, that, that's so frustrating. I probably should have just done red. It's really annoying because I did red red the other game and got punished for doing red red. And then this game, I played conservatively and went red black. And then it cost me going red black. So they've got a snap loop here. I'm assuming they're going to do here. I'm just going to concede. The, I can't get out from under this loop without playing two guys. And, like, it just doesn't work because they then can get back. So, Snuff Out seems good and Red Elemental Blast seems good. Lava Dart seems bad. Oh, my God. Game. Lava Dart seems bad. And then so does Exum, right? I'm fine just cutting that and putting in a third lesson. Hey, all that seems fine. <clears throat> That was annoying because I literally had that there, right? Because if I, if I go red, red, I draw the swamp and then play the land. Uh, so then I anger, I have a red float and play the land. I can then team a battle rage and mutagenic growth, which is enough to kill them, even through blocks, right? So let's keep this. I'm going to play the geothermal bog and pass. They have hydro as well, which is something we need to be conscious of. <clears throat> I'm just going to Swamp Cycle for a Geothermal Bog here. And then I'll play a Festival Crusher with a, uh, with a red black up. Got Counter Spell, you got Snap, but you got Hydro. And this, you got the second one. It's quite interesting to be fair because <coughs> blue is actually really nowhere in challenges or anything. This, like, it's only in Mono Blue Terra. Um. But this league has been very, very blue dominated. So we've versed Fams. We've versed Blue Black Terror. We've versed... Do they have a third one? No. Um, <clears throat> what else? I can't remember what else we've versed now. So we've versed Fams, Blue Black Terror, Jeskai Ephemerate. It is just never ending. Go away. Have a counter spell? Second snap? It's more annoying that if the snap gets to resolve, to be fair, three, four, five, three, six. So if they don't have a way to return this, we can kill them with Apostles Blessing back up, which is pretty nice. That resolves. This resolves. <clears throat> Cycle. Can an island play an island? Or have they played a land this turn? They've played a land this turn, right? Oh. GG. These are both instant. That's fine. Attack. Always yield. <clears throat> the two card combo. Ten. I will hit you for ten infect. Please and thank you. GG. So do I need this? That's the question. I need a fourth. I don't think so. Right? I think three is probably enough. I'm all going to fight on the stack with the snap as a backup. Maybe I should have cut a team of Battle Rage for uh, an Apostle's Blessing. So here we don't really have anything going on. We have a Highway Robbery to pitch something. We don't even have a Swamp for the Snuff Out. Uh, we're on the draw though with a Highway Robbery. I feel like I can mulligan this. This hand seems infinitely better. Can we just bottom the Highway Robbery? Or the Simeon Spirit? No. Yes, probably the Simeon's pretty good, actually. We need the Black Sauce for the Tainted Strike. Blue and pass, huh? F6. Reb. So we could go for this now. That's interesting. Like, we could literally go crack Simeon's Spirit Guide, play Kiln Fiend, but I, uh, Kiln Fiend, but I feel like they've got a Hydroblast here. And we have no protection, so I think I'm just going to pass. And then I'm going to try and find a Reb. Or... An Apostle's Blessing here. I'm assuming they're going to play like a Chancery here. Yeah. So I need an Apostle's Blessing preferably right now. 
That's a swamp. Do I just highway robbery? Because I have this. This this combo is like pretty much like lethal, right? I can pitch this swamp. I think that's probably best. Discard swamp. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Just what we need. More lands. I think this deck has something about it. I really do. Like we're currently not doing the worst, but um, sixty-one cards doesn't work, and it's too all over the place. Like I don't hate the the backup troll sort of thing, but like the random numbers really do throw it off. I find like I'd rather have a concise game plan. Um, you know, like four apostles blessing, um, that sort of level. Yeah. And they get to ephemerate here. Three, four, five, six. So we are just under half of our lands. We're 14 lands. Obviously, half being 77 lands. We're just under half our lands in the top 11. Okay, so they're meeting the mines and then let it go. So we need, they're going to discard again. <coughs> they're holding up Beb for dear life. Reb, I'd like to see. We play Kelmfiend here. They're going to Reb. A uh, Beb, sorry. We Reb. Boop. They discarded a Beb, too. They're going to snap. Very unlikely they've got third, but they could. They're just going to snap here. Yep. Float some stuffs. I think we're supposed to bring in stuff out as a way to sort of deal with the Sunscape. Sort of Sunscape familiar Arcane Mantle loop combo thing, but I could be wrong there again. <clears throat> Like double familiar here, pass probably. Nope. Five for a mold drifter or a lorry revealed. Lorry revealed, sure. But the cards are coming. Cancery, sure. Feb number three, I'm assuming. Whee! Yeah, probably should have. Feb. Aye, aye, aye. <clears throat> I think this deck works if obviously you're trying to beat. Probably actually quite a lot of the decks in the in the field. Like it, it sort of does have okay game against Terra. Like it's fine, it's not the end of the world. Um Affinity is obviously very hit and miss. Brood scale see, Brood scale and the Ponza deck seems like a pretty okay matchup though. But again, we versus none of them this league. And they get to bring back a Beb here or a Snap. Yep. And they brought back a Beb, of course. Do we think they have an ephemerate? Potentially. See what they do. Okay. Well, they take the attack for one. Yes. Or two. Ghostly flicker, huh? I do this because I'd rather accept that they're going to snap it. Hmm. They have many ways out of this, but stopping the loop here is quite important, I think. Yep. Yep. I think we're just dead. <clears throat> we'll give it a draw. But I think we're just dead, right? I think the deck has, as I said, I do think the deck has legs. I do think you need to commit either Tainted Strike or the, or the team of Battle Rage. I think both's bad. Um, too many off numbers is my... Uh, a deck like this, you can't be sitting here going, oh, look, I've got my one of highway, my two of highway robbery. That's exactly where I need to be. You need to be, here's my Kiln Fiends, here's my Exhum Plan, here's my Ramp, here's my Protection, etc. All or nothing, like... And then I got 61 cards in a 14 land deck. Just no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Young Fiend, which gets bebbed. And they have um, Flicker, which you can go off with. Yeah, we just did. So I mentioned 2 3 this league. Um, we had a lot of 1 2s and a lot of very close game 3s, which is fine. I think we probably could have won. Game one against White Weenie, or if I was a bit savvy with the Lava Darts, um, and then Miss Borden for game three. Like, cutting a Lava Dart was fine, but I, I think probably just maximizing your chances. But this is my main thing. Like, these numbers are off. Like, these are horrendous numbers. Like, all of these two ofs and three ofs um, just seriously sets it off. Like, it just makes no sense. Uh, just lower your uh, lower your deck count. So just like literally cut this, cut this, got four of these, 
but more protection just makes the most sense. Like, you just, this is my game plan game one. Game two, I sideboard accordingly. And that is probably the problem with the deck right now. But I actually will probably try this again, running this back. I do, I did enjoy this thing. I thought it was great. The uh, Tainted Strike actually doubles up as like a, I can survive a turn to then kill you. Sort of works. All for it. Um, I don't know about, like, I don't, I, I don't get the split. Like, it works sometimes. Like, if you're, Got a long grindy game, you're a team of outrage, your guy, and then, then you hit them for loads because you've already been nickel and diamond. I get it. But the Tainted Strike needs less stuff, right? So the Dream's just like Tainted Strike, Mutagenic Growth on a Kiln Fiend, and that's game. Or it's Tainted Strike, Mutagenic Growth, something else. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, literally. So like any spell, it's just game, right? So I don't see why you wouldn't just double down on the Tainted Strike. It does get awkward if you are at the point where you're going Simeon Spirit Guide, but what can you do? Um, yeah, pretty sweet deck, pretty fun league. Hope you guys enjoyed this league for sure. Uh, this was definitely a sweet one, and I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.